Hey guys, welcome back. Warbomb here, bringing you another one of our live deck profile videos. It's been a minute, uh, but we are here. I built my own version of a lot of different decks. I think I'm going to be able to show you guys four of them before the release of um, Lost March on PCGO. So we're going to do four of these videos. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing Lost March today. Everybody loves Lost March, uh, or everybody likes Lost March, whatever. So uh, we're going to be discussing Lost March today. Before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz. Don't forget to check out our, our, um, our, um, Ooh, excuse me, our sponsors here at Guardian Gaming. Uh, of course, they're going to be supplying us with codes to give away to you guys and stuff like that. So don't forget to check them out. It's an awesome website if you guys want to uh, buy some Lost March products, uh, specifically codes and stuff like that. So, um, I guess answer the comment question today for a chance to win a couple Lost March, uh, a couple Lost Thunder codes. Today is going to be, hmm, I guess just standard. Like, what's your favorite deck to come out of uh, Lost Thunder? There's a lot of them. There's Gramble, there's, uh, there's like Giratina, Malamar, there's Bucephalon, there's there's so many decks. Even like decks like Rotom, like get buffed up and things like that. So I'm actually really excited to do all sorts of different deck profiles for you guys. So today we're gonna start, we're gonna start with Lost March. I'm gonna play four hop-ups. Now keep in mind, these are going to be the 40 HP hop-ups. I just didn't have enough. I printed these, forgetting there was a 40 HP one. So I, not really forgetting, just like printing the wrong one, I guess. So I didn't have enough ink to print the other one. And it looks like I'm in the spot with the glare again. I thought for sure there wasn't going to be any glare this time, but these things happen, I guess. That's right. There's going to be a lot of Pokemon. Have to be careful. Anyways, four Hop Ips, um, four Skip Looms, and four Jump Pluffs. The main setup Pokemon, I suppose, in this deck, uh, Skip Loom having the ability to, uh, you, uh, once per turn, uh, when this Pokemon's on your board, uh, essentially, once per turn, you can put this card and all cards attached to it into the Lost Zone and find and put a Jump Bluff from your deck onto uh, into uh, uh, from your deck into its place, more or less. So essentially, you replace this with a Jump Bluff from the deck. So this Jump Bluff essentially acts like a Stage One, but you get two cards in the Lost Zone, and then Lost March does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your Lost Zone that aren't Prism Star Pokemon. So every time you pull off this idea you get a plus 40 into the a plus 40 into the attack power it's a single grass energy they both have free retreat they're both re, uh, weak to lightning and resistant to uh to fighting the weakness of lightning is kind of relevant only because like tapu koko can do 40 damage to you with a flying flip as opposed to just 20 but the fighting resistance is very nice because it does help you survive pretty much any jet punch math that um that a uh, buzzle can do to you so it's pretty handy there. Also, the hop ups have 40 HP with the, with the same weakness. So, in order for a hop up to be knocked out, they have to have Beast Energy or Dianti Kakui. So, it is actually kind of annoying for them to Oko you. Uh, but hop up will be Okoed by a flying clip every time. So, we can keep that in mind as well. It's got a measly 70 HP, but it's fine because it's 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 just one another one of those like set up quickly and run kind of decks. So, ideally, you just want to set up as many hop ups out turn one. And then turn two, get as many skip booms out, set up all your jump pluffs, and then you're set to attack, at least for the beginning part of the game. And then throughout the game, you should be able to get more Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Um, the other attackers we have in this deck, and I am playing a four of count of the new Natu. I know a lot of decks are only playing three Natus. I think you have to play four, <clears throat> just to have consistent attackers rolling throughout the game. I've had games where like I really, 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 really wanted my fourth Natu, and I just couldn't find it or couldn't get it. For any particular reason, maybe it was prize, maybe I had, there's a couple in the lost zone, discard pile, things like that. So I did up the count to four. I've been loving it since I upped the count to four. It's been super duper convenient. It is 40 HP. It is a DCE attacker with the same lost march text. It does have a weakness of psychic, which <clears throat> the weakness of psychic, no resistance. That doesn't really matter. It is a one retreat, which is kind of nice because you can just attach and retreat in most cases. It makes a skateboard an option as well if you do want to play a skateboard, but uh, I am choosing to play the 4444 line of the Lost Marchers because I just feel like it's so important to constantly have attackers out and uh, I'd rather not have to play Stretcher because Stretcher becomes a like dead card throughout the game while you can almost always play this down or you can use Lost Mixer to put in the discard pile if you need to for an extra boost of damage. That's why I like this over the second Stretcher. And then speaking of putting Pokemon just directly into the Lost Zone, I am playing four of the Trumbeaks, which is kind of standard. I mean, not really too much to talk about there. Trumbeaks ability is really nice. Let me see if I can put this all on the board here. Uh, Trumbeaks ability is when it's in your hand, you can put it in the discard pile and look at the top card of your deck or put it in the Lost Zone. Put in the Lost Zone, look at the top card of your opponent's deck. If it's a supporter, you can put that support in the Lost Zone. So not only is it plus 20 to all your Lost March attacks, but you can also get free 
um, what's the word, free knowledge. So you get to know where your opponent's going to top deck and you get to uh, react accordingly. So I do like Trump Beak just as a card in general. It's just plus 20 when you get all four in the discard pile, it's plus 80. It is, eight, it is 80 HP, which is relevant because you can't search it with cards like Professor Elm Lecture. You can only find it with Ultra Ball. Which is kind of annoying. You can also play Timer Ball if you want. I'm not a big fan of playing Timer Ball, so I'm, I'm currently not playing Timer Ball, but it's another option. I'm playing two Lele because uh, Lele is another DC attacker. Number one, number two, it helps you find your Elm. It's very, 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 very important to not only be able to draw as much as you possibly can in this deck, but to get your turn one Elm if you can to get um, to get as many hoppers down turn one because it's one of the most important parts of this deck is getting down as many hoppers as you can turn one. So. And then you can get turn two Elm with uh, all the 60 HP because Elm can also search this as well because it's 60 HP or lower Pokemon. Also playing one Orangiru, the hand size gets low sometimes, so it is not, and you can always thin down your hand with cards like Ultra Ball and Lost Mixer. So Orangiru becomes pretty handy in that case. There was a there was a there was a time when I was playing two Orangiru by accident, and I <laughs> it was kind of I, I mean I'm not saying play two Orangiru, but if you wanted to put in a second Orangiru, I wouldn't be against it because it was an accident. I put it over the the fourth Grass Energy. Complete by accident because I was I was taking this deck apart, putting it back in. Thought I didn't have a Ranger in here, to sipped it in, and uh, the deck was like going off because we had two Ranger. It was kind of crazy, <laughs> but uh, we had to take out the Ranger for the fourth Grass Energy. So uh, you know, if you want if you wanted to fit in a fourth Ranger, I wouldn't be against it. I think it's a pretty cool card in this deck because there's so many times where like you do have a very low hand size, and the Ranger being able to search out that one or two extra card is very very useful sometimes. On to the items, we got ourselves. Uh, you know, standard for Ultra Ball. I'm gonna move everything over. I'll probably do that in the next video. Uh, for Lost Mixer, I am choosing to play the max four count. A lot of decks are going for three, some of them even going for two. I feel like Lost Mixer is incredibly important because there's gonna be so many games where you just can't play down your Hop Ips or Skip Blooms anymore. Maybe you have a piece of them prized and you get them throughout the game. Lost Mixer is just an easy way to put those Pokemon from your hand into the Lost Zone. So you can, like, there are games where I've used, like, mid game. Or even late game Elm, just to get the Pokemon out of my deck and then use Lost Mixer to put them in the Lost Zone. So Lost Mixer is incredibly important just to get those extra Pokemon into the Lost Zone. Uh, so I do like the Lost Mixer a lot. I've, I never had a game where I wanted to cut them because I've always been able to use them. Uh, we're playing three Netballs. Netball lets you get either a basic grass Pokemon or a basic grass energy from your deck into your hand. I have to double check if that's correct. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's what Netball does. Because I keep hearing people say uh, Netball gets any grass Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's not right. This, I, mean, I have it right here. I got it right here. I can get the proper translation for you guys. So, yeah, so search your deck for a basic grass Pokemon. So, I, I don't know. A lot of people are just getting the wrong translation or something like that. But it's basic grass Pokemon or basic grass energy. And puts them into your hand. Another way to get your hop ups out if you want to do a lot more drawing instead of play turn one Faba, which is not bad. And more importantly, it gets you your grass energies. That means you can actually skimp out a little bit on playing a bunch of grass energies and just bring it down to four. And that way you have seven ways to draw a grass energy now if you play this card. Um, other cards, I am playing two choice bands. The math is really nice, especially early game when you need to hit that build with those big numbers. And then a lot of cards, a lot of decks are playing cards like bodybuilding dumbbells. So the choice pan man becomes choice pan math becomes very important sometimes. One counter one counter catcher and one uh, rescue stretcher. I feel I still feel like you need one rescue stretcher because you will you'll be ultra balling, you'll be losing Pokemon. So having that one of rescue stretcher is gonna be pretty useful. So I still like it, but I don't think you need two, at least with the build I'm going for. And the counter catcher is very nice because you are going to be knocked out. <laughs> but for the, you're most likely gonna be knocked out before you take any big knockouts. So having counter catcher is very, very useful. So the item count, fairly simple, fairly low. It's not something, it's like, yeah, it's it's nice. I like it. Um, I like this deck so far a lot, like after testing it. This is my build, by the way, guys. So <laughs> I don't know if I made that clear yet. But this is my build of it. And after playing the other, the, the one that did the, the tournament winning ones and like other deck lists and other ideas I got from other people, I've liked this version the most. So uh, after my testing, it's been the most consistent for me which is why I'm showing it to you guys today. I am playing for Professor Elm's New Theory. Uh, I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> Unless you search for three uh, 60 HP or less Pokemon from your deck into your hand. So turn one, you get the hop ups. Turn two, you get the skip looms. Turn three, you're hitting for big damage. That's that's the dream scenario, right? It can happen a lot. When you play four, you, you tend to get it in your opening hand a lot more often than you would think. So it becomes pretty handy for that reason. 
And even if you don't get into your opening hand, it's a live card pretty much throughout the game if you're constantly evolving up your skip your hop hips. Uh, or even if you want to use your loss mixer, it's a live card like a lot of the time. So I do like the four of count. I don't think I'd go anywhere below a four of count because I feel like this deck needs a four of count. A lot of this deck is like needed, I would say. Like I, I, I did mention a couple cards you can skimp out on. You could probably skip out on the uh, on maybe a loss mixer or two, maybe the counter catcher. But like the Pokemon line, maybe maybe one not to. But this deck is very basic in the sense that like you have to use some of these cards in order to succeed. Uh, just succeed with the deck itself. Uh, I can maybe this card has like at most five spaces that you can have a little bit of wiggle room with. But for the most part, you do need these cards because there's cards I want to play. Like Volpix was really handy, but I don't like having Volpix in the active a lot. Uh, Marshadow, the one that lets you sh the one that lets you judge both opponents. Um, or judge, the one else you judge more or less. That's another one I wanted to play because it's another Pokemon that you can either Lost Mixer or it just helps you with a little bit more consistency. There's a lot of things I want to try in this deck. Um, there's Shuckle that can help you with the mirror. There's uh, Shuckle GX that is. There's a lot of things that can help, but like it's just so hard to find space. Oh, there's a Lowland Muck that helps you beat. Uh, like Ditto Prism with a Lowland Muck will help you beat cards like uh, like not, yeah, like Giratina spread and, uh, help you beat Shuckle, because Shuckle's ability is really annoying. And then there's Machoke that helps you beat spread in general, because Machoke stops your opponent's abilities and attacks, uh, which is once again, another Pokemon you can play with Ditto and all those, and it's good to play tech Pokemon because you have Lost Mixer, right? Uh, so like, there's so many ways to tech this deck out. Maybe if you're expecting something like maybe a Ditto Machoke over a counter catcher and a... I don't know, maybe a Lily that we're going to talk about here soon. But <clears throat> like I said, it is really hard to make space. I tried to focus this deck on consistency because once again, if they knock out any of these Pokemon, then like you're out of luck there because you don't have another Ditto. So that's my mindset at least. But anyways, for Cynthia, uh, three Guzma, standard stuff here. I am playing three Guzma, not four. I feel like three is fine. It also helps in your consistency. Uh, two Lilies. It helps you draw a lot better. Here, actually, we'll put these lilies up here. Um, I really like this deck was missing draw, so I just threw in a second lily, and it seemed to work really well for me. So I do like two lilies, and then one Tate and Liza. Not only is it a draw card, but it also helps you retreat those Orangu. If ever, if they ever keep your Orangu stuck in the active, I do like having access to that Tate and Liza. So it's seven draw cards. Not the best, but most of the time we're searching Pokemon, and we have items, and we have Orangu and stuff like that. So it's not like the biggest deal ever. And we're not really digging for a lot of things outside of energy cards. So, and we have netball, so we should be okay for the most part. And speaking of energy cards, the energy line is simple. Uh, four grass and four DCE. I am playing four DCE here because that's one issue I had before. Uh, that's why I upped my count to four Natus and four DCEs because I wasn't finding DCEs for the game winning turn. I wasn't finding Natus for the game winning turn. So I increased the odds so that we could win games more. <clears throat> so I really like this build a lot. I hope you guys try it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what changes you would make. Uh, maybe you want to add some of those texts because you're the kind of person that likes teching out your deck, uh, which is fine. <laughs> I, that kind of sounded a little bit more insulting than I wanted it to because uh, I tech a lot. I play Blacephalon. There's a lot of text in there. So <laughs> it's not like a bad thing to tech. I, I just, when I built this deck, I wanted to focus it on consistency, which is why I built it the way that like this. And it's been really, really consistent for me so far. It's only lost me like three or four games so far in my testing, but it's still early testing. So maybe it's just awful. And I don't just know. I don't know yet. Right. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you haven't already answered that common question of the day for a chance to win a couple lost thunder codes, because we got, we got them in stock right now. We're ready. We ready. I hope you guys are excited for uh, this upcoming Wednesday, the next Wednesday coming up the 31st. I believe that's when the set drops for on PCGO. We'll be doing hopefully like a 200 pack opening. If not 200, we'll probably stick with like 150 or something and then use the rest for trading. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll try to get me some codes on my own on top of like what the uh, my sponsors give me. So I'm really excited. And yeah, that's going to be the video. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be Lost, not Lost March. Tomorrow's video is going to be Buzz Tales. It's going to be a little bit different because it's my friend's deck. So I told him to send me images. So we're not going to be able to do this whole live thing going on, but it'll, it'll still be a good video. I think Buzz Tales is busted. So uh, <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to check that out. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace.